Hello and welcome back to the Drive School. Today we are going to look into the generator application and tuning of the generator. Generators used on shaft generators could be anything from asynchronous induction motors, but for most parts it's some kind of synchronous machine. It could be a permanent magnet motor or it could be a generator with external excitation. For our drive, this means that the drive need to control the generator in a closed loop motor control. To handle the generator like motor control, the drive need precise information about the motor characteristics. This means the motor nominals, but also identification runs to identify the back EMF curves and the impedance of the motor. Machines utilized for shaft generator could be an asynchronous generator like this. Asynchronous motors and generators need to be magnetized from the outside continuously. The current running here, a reactive current of about 40% of the motor nominal, causes higher losses. So induction motors are not the highest efficiency for generator use. Synchronous machines are constantly magnetized by its permanent magnets. This means that the losses you see on the induction motor is quite quite lower. It also have a higher efficiency at especially low RPMs. The challenge with a synchronous machine is that it produces voltage. The induction motor when you rotate the shaft it doesn't produce any voltage. When we rotate on these permanent magnet motors, we will see that it actually produces on itself a voltage and a frequency. And the relation between the voltage and the frequency is quite constant. The relation between the voltage on the output and the rotation speed of the shaft, and then also the frequency, have a constant relation called the back EMF curve. At 100 Hz, this specific generator produces 63 volts. Half the speed, 50 Hz, it produces also the half voltage. This is the generator we are going to use for the tuning. It's a permanent magnet motor used as generator and this is the diesel engine to drive it. To achieve a correct tuning, we need to know the motor nominal data. The motor vendor have given me this data. Are they right? Are they precise enough? Especially the relation between the frequency and RPM is important, and also the relation between the frequency and the voltage, which is the BEM curve. Let's check. The relation between the frequency and RPM will give the pole number. If I put these numbers into the equation, something strange. 60 Hz, 998 RPM, 7.2 poles cannot be right. It should be some number without decimals. So, we can do a test to check what actually this motor produces. What we do then, we start the diesel engine then we measure what is the frequency produced by the generator at a given RPM. Then we get the relation between the RPM and the frequency. Hello and welcome to the drive school. Today we have a professional film crew here. This is Alan. Hi. And here you have lights. Hello. And we are going to talk about hybridization. 